In this vlog, I'm going to show you some of the new improvements found in version 3 for Rivage Mixing Systems. Released in February 2019, it comes just one year after the launch of PM7. So some customers will see several of their suggestions already included. Let's start in theatre mode, which was introduced in the previous update where EQ and Dynamics now have four banks of settings. Well, now the EQ section includes an attenuator function, so level adjustment is included in the banks and stored in the actor library. Very useful if substitute actors are speaking at a different volume to the principal players. Also in theatre mode, we can find quick presets for DCA assignments. If you have regular sets of channels to be assigned to different DCA groups, perhaps for chorus parts or orchestra sections, store them in a preset with the DCA name and color. Then, when you have a new scene to program, you can quickly apply the preset to a new DCA fader. You can even make sure the channel turns on automatically after it is assigned, so you don't need to change fader layers to find it. Talking of fader layers, the 12 custom fader layers are now easier to program with an intuitive screen layout and shortcuts to move and insert channels. And we can see the custom layers in the meter bridge where we can simply touch to change the layer. And by the way, the custom fader layers are stored in the user setup presets, so different engineers can recall different custom layers even if the show isn't changed. Another function to speed up scene programming during rehearsals is found in Global Paste, where you can copy parameters to multiple scenes. Now there are eight quick access banks for recalling certain ranges of parameters you may frequently need. And by the way, the new EQ and Dynamics banks are now included. Also, there's a library for the global pace selections. And this library is shared with the scene focus settings. Focus is where you select what gets recalled with each scene. And note that if a parameter is showing red, that means it is recall safe, so it won't be changed by any scene recall. Channel copy is another function that now benefits from quick presets. Quickly select a different range of parameter sets to copy depending on your need. Perhaps one for EQ and dynamics, another for input gain and faders, another for monitor mix ends, and so on. And when you're mixing monitors, you can now choose the function of the channel on key while in sends on fader mode. Do you want the key to control the selected mix end or the main channel on off? And if the channel is off, the name display will be dark to warn you that it will remain silent. You know, there are improvements to the editor software and iPad apps too. The editor can now show three different screens and access more setup preferences. And the iPad app can now be used to edit plugin effects parameters input patching, and show a full screen of level meters. Keep a lookout for more vlogs and tips videos, and indeed for more updates to this outstanding mixing system. I'm Andy from Yamaha's Research and Development Centre, United Kingdom. Thanks for watching.